NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Final Practice presented by Toyota. Daytona International Speedway, trucks on the track, and a couple of teammates, the 7 of Brett Moffitt, the 17 of Timothy Peters for Red Horse Racing, first laps of practice 2017. I, I, I love this philosophy here. We were listening in on Chad Kendrick saying, hey, Timothy, we're going to get out there with our teammate, run two, three laps, try to get our get our heights right because these two trucks together will run so much faster than one individual truck they'll get a better idea of what these things will do at speed because in a big draft these trucks can run 12 14 miles an hour faster than they can by themselves it's pretty cool that they were able to put that plan together in the garage area and then go out on track and implement it because a lot of times other trucks will try to get in behind the faster guys and you'll have a whole pack of trucks they're going to learn everything they want to know about the way these trucks are set up if their ground clearance is the way they want it and they come back into the garage area they said maybe sit on pit road even and get in a bigger pack and try to draft the weather has been an issue all day long trying to get practice in as you look at john hunter nemechek in the eight and that's his dad joe nemechek right behind him how critical is it with weather we look at the radar we believe more weather is coming how critical are these early laps for these guys not knowing how much practice they're going to get today i think it's extremely critical because we've had a little bit of a rule change they've done a little bit they run the same rear springs that they did before but they're not as we see john hunter nemechek lead that three truck draft around those red horse trucks but it's a little bit different way of where you can position those trucks so they think they're going to lose a little bit of rear travel so they will have to adjust the front travel as well so there's a little bit of an unknown for all these crew chiefs even the johnny saunders truck that won this very race here last year again a little bit different rule package you can see how fast that three truck uh, pack ran Yellow down is out. Yellow is out. precip i bet turn so three and four looks like the rain's approaching There it is. So there's yeah. that precipitation that you were talking about. And this place is so big, two and a half miles around. I mean, it can be raining on one end of the track and not raining Absolutely. on the other. We saw yeah. that earlier today. So, <laughs> Phil, we talk about the draft and how uh, that's how, a bad sign. How effective it is in the trucks. Peters and Moffitt together in a 50.10. John Hunter Nemechek and his dad, Joe, running them down, 48.20. Almost two seconds faster just by picking up the air off the back of those two trucks. Seven miles an hour. And that wasn't even really a big fact. They didn't really get their legs under him yet. That's Joe Shear Jr., the crew chief for the champion, Johnny Sauter, climbing down off the top of the hauler. Sauter just got uh, one lap at speed. This, this is just a, 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 a highlight of the day. Yeah, dry track, wet track. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got to drive these racers it's teasing them. I know, it's, it's got to drive them crazy. But for, for 18 trucks that got on the road, that was beneficial. That one lap, they can go back to the garage area and look and see how their trucks traveled, how the, how the front end matched up to the road. This was valuable for these guys. On board with Austin Sendrick, one of the new drivers for Brad Keselowski Racing. You know, all the trucks that were remaining on pit road now are turning around and heading back to the garage area, Austin being one of those. Now his teammate, Chase Briscoe, we saw him in that three truck train with the Nema checks. So Chase got a little activity at speed, but Austin did not. Yeah, and that will be beneficial for Austin because those the crew chiefs can get together if they if Chase's heights were right and, and, and that shock travels were right that they can work on that 19 truck as well for Austin Center. There's the 92, Regan Smith. We're going to see him in the truck series some this year. Going to run the first six races and I think uh, about 12 in total, about a dozen races. So look forward to seeing Regan in the 92. Yeah, look, he's uh, had a great year, great few years in the Xfinity series with Junior Motorsports. So we're really, really happy to have him. And I think that he's going to give that truck a great ride. I talked about the two-second difference, Phil, and you said seven miles an hour. You want to see what seven miles an hour looks like? <laughs> Look at these guys fast approaching the two white trucks. That's just because those white trucks are breaking the hole in the air. The eight truck, the 87, they're running in that void of air, and look, they're just using more of their horsepower, not having to bust the wind and suck right up on them. And, and oh, by the way, those white trucks were running as fast as they could. They were wide open all the way around the racetrack, and that's what that air, you saw the sparks from the 29 truck, too. That's something they'll have to work on a little bit. And what it looked like from the 17 of Timothy Peters as they went flying by on the outside. Watch for the sparks that Bill pointed out on the 29 truck as it drags its way by. There they are, right there. I think you can hear Timothy Peters' truck maybe just taking a stir. Sorry about that. And 
those big runs like that we see, Phil, is the reason why we see crashes. Because you can get your bumper to the guy in front of you, and if you don't, if you're inexperienced and you don't give that bump just the way it needs to be given, you can cause a mess. There's Maya Snyder, one of the drivers that will run the 51 truck throughout the course of this season. Kyle Busch Motorsports, keeping our fingers crossed for more laps from Daytona.